and you'll find out there was a whole lot of motherfucking bones and the reason why so many people fought for them. But y'all gonna see it all for yourself. All of them, grown ass men, old ass women, who like kids, we gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna let that go. So it's a whole bunch of sick people right now, old, young, hurt, broke up, and destroyed. Families for years, girls that's fucked up still. You know why? Because of the secrets, the fucked up shit that they had that encounter with her. And that's what I'm going to tell you. And I'm the first to tell you. Need to stick with a man, grown ass man. It's a problem. And I just want that to be known. So I'm going to get on my plane. And you never heard me say it publicly because of my daughter. And I respect it. The shit I had to respect. But you hear from me now. Fuck R. Kelly. She got that glow, she made of sugar and gold She's my melanin Monroe, she's my melanin Monroe Fly and she knows that I am feeling her soul She's my melanin Monroe, my, my melanin Monroe What's good YouTube, it's your girl Melanin Monroe Another day, more celebrity drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about Joycelyn Savage and Ezreal Clary. Ezreal Clary was reunited with her dad yesterday, and both of the girls actually took to Instagram Live after Joycelyn was released from jail. Ezreal's dad also took to Instagram Live and gave a very direct statement to R. Kelly. I don't know, y'all. Well, let's just get into the video. So, Joycelyn turned herself in the following morning following the fight between the two ladies. Um, she was booked and charged with a, a misdemeanor of assault, and she is due back in court in February. Joycelyn then took to Twitter and she said, There comes a time when you're just tired and fed up and this is that time for me. God has a beautiful plan for me. That's why he had to take the worthless people out of my life so I can move forward. She said, He has always had my back. I don't pay for anything. We had everything we wanted and this trick brings men to our room. Now have fun trying to pay for your room. I've been through a lot in my life. I don't need lights or cameras or anything. My dad made me this way. There's no going back. I've never slept with Israel as a minor. When you're in your wrong, that's when they want to play victim. I'm so sick of this girl. I'm through with her. She's a drug addict. She leaves cocaine bottles everywhere around the room. I'm even surprised she hasn't gotten caught bringing it into the hotel. She isn't innocent at all. She's been trying to take my spot ever since we became friends. I cannot gain access to Instagram account. Israel has been trying to sabotage me. She paid someone to hack into my account, and now she's threatening to sue me without any proof that I hit her. She acts like she's this perfect girl when she's not. You clearly don't know what you've gotten yourself into. You're so immature. I can only wish for you the best in life at this point. You knew you effed up. You knew what you was doing when I walked in that room. You so scary. See you in court. Just spoke to people. They the only blogs putting out the right news. The Shade Room and other blogs like to stir up things. It wasn't fake. What she said was false. She's so dramatic. She went to the hospital. I didn't hit her. The phone hit her when I mushed it out of her hand. Azrael tweeted and said, No one ever wakes up and says, Today, I'm going to be manipulated or taken advantage of or kidnapped. Those are things you just cannot control. I never thought me and victim would be in the same sentence because I was too in denial. But once you realize, you realize. She said, This is my face after having white castles with my dad. I just want people to embrace me, love me, and forgive me because I'm young. And I just didn't know. Please do not crucify me for not being knowledgeable. Israel's dad then got on Instagram live earlier today before boarding the plane. And he has something to say, not only to R. Kelly, but to all bloggers and anybody that is reporting about his daughter. Thanks for, uh, for, uh, still coming into the live. Um, let me address a few things. So, I heard a whole lot of stories yesterday. And, um, 
I heard a whole lot of stories yesterday. Everybody heard a, a lot of things happen and all this. Um, I know a lot of people sent me stuff about um, Tasha K and her narrative on uh, on um, on the uh, situation with the uh, that happened with my daughter in um, Chicago. Um, everything that everybody say that has a, their own narrative sometimes get misconstrued with words and I think that people, everybody should know what words go with what and what words not to say. Everybody that been in tune with me from day one know I don't ever put up shit where I'm at during the time I'm at somewhere handling any type of business or anything in a situation that's so sensitive and so serious with my child. So if y'all was waiting on a lie for me to get in, turn in like I'm some damn gossip monkey to uh, report some shit that's going on with my my, my child, y'all, that's not my character. And I would hope to God that don't nobody who follow any YouTuber think that's what I do. You know, I receive calls in the midst of some things about my daughter fight, which I wasn't there. I was in route, but I wasn't there when it happened. But I don't speak on my daughter business. So I didn't know, I didn't see the video. I didn't see any of it. But the difference was, I told um, uh, T to, you know, she could, she could narrate whatever she heard. I can't stop nobody if my daughter put it out there. But to use words like, my daughter is an informant for the feds or whatever. I think people should really know what them words mean before you just display them and put that on anybody. You know, and understand what it means. I'm quite sure certain people never that caught up in the moment that much to put out such foul words and language like that, knowing that in communities that we come from, that wind, could, wind, could wind up having you um, dead. So uh, I'm just confused on how much you people like to sell their life out for certain things. And I'm not just talking about TK, I'm talking in general. Like this shit, to a degree, at the end of the day, everybody got kids. People can say what's off limits, what's not. Putting out shit like that on my motherfucking child who don't got nothing to do with it and in the middle of don't nobody, see nobody around her, don't know who's there and don't know how far away we are. And to put something out there while she in the city that's just as dangerous as my hometown, Baltimore, why would you even say that if you don't, if there's no clue to that? I don't give a fuck who called that and gave you information certain shit, you know how to work. And if you said she was going to the police, the feds there, she was telling them uh, um, on this situation or her se- on, on whatever was going on, she was talking to them, that's different. Some of the young lady ain't never been in trouble. What the fuck would she be involved to be informed, a informant? Your informant means somebody who's worked and, and reports to the federal agents information back and forth. Somebody that is contracted is a rat. So I don't know what people don't know the difference between words, but I'ma sum it up. That shit eat me to my soul. How many calls, how many phone calls. I appreciate the love. I thank a lot of big homies, the G's trying to straighten me. But I meant this something I had to had to do anyway. It's a lot going on with my fam. I ain't telling people not to blog, but I rather just blog, to be a blogger, and don't talk to or be affiliated to a close network anymore. And that's on me, because as big as this been at any time, if I wanted to facilitate things, I could call TMZ and anybody else. 
what I call myself doing in the midst of a bad situation is helping out four or five different black channels, both sides, giving them information of of uh, importance so they don't go on their channel and just be telling lies, try to give people a, a way to, to come at people with a straight source. But how can you ever be a, a person when your, 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 your situation and your livelihood and your kids uh, get put in danger just because of the simple fact of you want to be the first. Now make no mistake, TK and us got all the love in the world. I respect our family. I went, the people went at her, I, I, I had her back. Everybody not me. I'm not mad because she did talk to me, but the information that was that was given, that getting comfortable. I would never, and, and nobody hell tell exactly where I'm at, first of all. Two, and my daughter wouldn't be having to be a part of anything of that nature of being no fucking informed, period. So the wording was wrong there, and, and that's fine. But to ignorant people, you know, this seemed, to, this, this seemed to, to be a big deal because a lot of people don't know. And, and, and that's this, that was just a bad, bad tag. Um, you know, uh, you can't take it back. It, it is what it is. We can't change anybody who read it or saw it. I haven't saw it. I've uh, seen it yet. No, I don't plan to. I just put it out there for all the people that kept on. There's too, too many people for me to go down the list, so I had to pick a post. So when she did reach out to me, she did talk to me. Do we talk? Yes, we do talk. When something was going on, I never talked to nobody. And I damn sure don't say put nothing uh, uh, about me, uh, where I'm at or anything, if you happen to get me on the phone. This is my child. This is my baby daughter. I don't understand what people don't understand. When you go in that room to everybody, you got children, and look at your kids and put your kids to sleep. You got to think about that. When you talk crazy, reckless, where people is in the event. If it's people you ain't know, that's fine. I don't, I don't know how that react. If the tabloids would have caught it out here, they would have posted it, they would have said whatever, that was fine. TMZ called my phone, first saw the incident. Blew my phone, I had a personal relationship with them. Personal relationship with uh, Good Morning America. Personal relationship with major, major networks that I talk to regularly too. But the thing about it is, I, they respect how I do things. Or how I put things out and this and that. And I thought I had the same respect from black YouTubers as well as I look at as my sisters and brothers. So I don't want nobody to feel like this is a attack or this anything. I don't do that. What I do is counter. And I do right now, I have too much love and respect for TK. I want to always see a win. But I'm telling y'all, if you want something from me, and this cool for any YouTube, then you reach out to me. If you don't see it on my live, nine times ten, you, you need to question it from me. Put out your narratives. I don't care what nobody put out. I can't change that. People will talk about me. That's fine. But it's my fault for really trying to get more close attention and curb our uh, internet and make it a respectable internet where black people ain't constantly fighting each other over and over and over fucking again like we do with everything else. We kill, we, 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 we fight in the street. Now we done took this shit to the internet. Now we back to everything. You can't trust a motherfucker in the street. You can't trust a motherfucker in the internet. You might want to stay in the goddamn house. That shit getting so terrible out here, it's crazy. Like the people that's on your side, you can't trust them. Who can you trust? I got better rapport with some people on the other side who got major respect for me on, on certain levels that, you know, they was head up on the other side with a whole bunch of stuff, and they ain't even do a report, period. Like, not one report. That's crazy to me. You know, and I understand, you know, some people hot topic, and I respect them. 
and I want them to be number one. But you got to respect some of the people that you come affiliate with to help you grow. You got to do that. Believe me, man, I, I was young, uh, early on top, and been blessed to be on top a long time. But I knew if I fuck people and in in, 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 if I learned to fuck people, I would never last on top. Because one thing people don't know, you can get to the top, but it ain't always great up there. So, you know, that's just a friendly reminder. Uh, my flight right here um, for everybody in the shop that held me down, all the big homies. Y'all know exactly who you is. South side, west, thank y'all. Um, always looking out for me. Big major shouts to Chicago. Um, thank y'all for, um, you know, any time my daughter was alone, that people came, came, and... Um, hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> people came and watched over my daughter. Um, you know, they, they know exactly who they is. Brother Shabazz, man, major, major respect, brother. Thank you. And the other big homies, I won't mention y'all yet. I know y'all said shout y'all out, but I'm not. I'm going to let y'all do that yourself on the next uh, reunion. Um, I thank people that was uh, that know really what's going on in Chicago, what happened, and everything that really kicked off. And I want to tell y'all, man, thank y'all for t t really opening up and apologizing for the things y'all didn't know and being man and woman enough to understand that this guy is more than what anybody imagined. This dude is sick and that he had a lot of people fooled. And there ain't nothing wrong with people being fooled, you know, behind this situation at all. But one thing you gotta understand is always keep an open ear and an open heart to accept the truth. One thing I created, Team Truth, LLC, for the truth. It didn't, wasn't putting out to make people look bad, to do nothing. It was to start cleaning up some of the controversy and bullshit that people put out about people. And that's not on the internet. I'm talking about on the streets as well as on the internet. People just talk and talk and talk and talk. And people talk so much that they start learning how to make a lot of truth. Don't nobody know. Come on, that's right. That's us. So, so, I'm blessed with a, a real good queen. And um, that's that young lady, Azriel. Not because she's my daughter, because she was a gift from birth. And everything she's going to give people from this point on is going to be nothing but blessings. She got caught up in the situation. Yes, she did. But at the end, it also took her to get caught up for it to come to the end. And when I tell you the end, y'all will see. The things that, that everybody fighting for, how it going on in the internet, and making people look fucked up, and putting in all this work to put out my address and all this, or any address that pop up. Brother, I got multiple properties, and I don't really give a fuck if you put my address out at all. Be honest with you. I'm going to protect my family at all costs. So that shit putting it on the internet, my address and information, I don't give a fuck. Understand that one. So I'm good at that. I said, but now, let me tell you, though, that, um, let me tell you that that uh, this is far from a game for me, far. And um, one other thing I seen, uh, brother Willie D from my uh, Texas Ghetto Boys, uh, I had major, I man, still do. I got major, major respect, brother. Come from that 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 thing, and come to the uh, the politics sides of his town and tried to fight. I did a post about six, seven months ago, support him and everything. What I was surprised was he went on one of his shows. I don't know if he got a lot of comments about it, if he read up about it, and said he ain't like the actions of Adriel. Now, I know my age. I know Willie D was grown when I was young. 
So I'm trying to figure out what would make her the hot topic on all the things he discussed to want to say he ain't feeling what she's doing at 22 years old. How about you ain't, you need to investigate because the OGs that I really deal with know out of Houston, they not gonna speak on nothing out loud unless they got some facts. So when all the truth come out, I hope that you go on that same platform, my brother, and you tell her name fully like you said and apologize for putting out a statement like that when you talk about representing a town and a city in a political world after going through all you went through in life and then speaking on her with so much uh, n strong uh, conviction of her not being loyal. Brother, you have no clue for a young woman to come from an upraising like this and to cut off our family for four years, I think that's more loyal than anybody would ever know. And then when it, you or this other mess all come out, I want you also to get on your platform, brother, and really enlighten. You don't want our apology, but enlighten your town to stay away from people like him. Because y'all have no idea of the stuff that I know and the monstrous shit that he did with these girls in every fucked up way. So until y'all get all what I know, not this shit that's on the YouTube, not this shit y'all think y'all hear and think you know, I'm telling you the shit that the same ones that participated, all them old motherfuckers from 60 years old and 59 and 55 and everything else that participated in this fucking cesspool of shit that they had going on with all these kids. I hope that they all sit around and clench right now to know that this shit can really be a real bad situation. A, real, a whole lot of families that 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 been uh, fighting all over the internet, they gonna all disappear when this come out. And maybe some of them too ignorant not to disappear. So they gonna still try to fight. And nobody make up shit on him. Ain't nobody had to set this dummy up. What y'all had to do was do your homework the same way I did and research and fight. Do what the fuck you had to do. And you'll find out there was a whole lot of motherfucking bones and the reason why so many people fought for them. Because y'all gonna see it all for yourself. All of it. Grown ass men. Old ass women. Like kids. We're gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna let that go. So it's a whole bunch of sick people right now, old, young, hurt, broke up, and destroyed families for years. Girls that's fucked up still. You know why? Because of the secrets, the fucked up shit that they had that encounter with her. And that's what I'm gonna tell you. And I'm the first to tell you. So when it all comes, I want y'all pay good fucking attention. When it all come out, I think a whole lot of motherfuckers will have to be men, women, queens, and kings. And I want you to apologize just to all these young black girls. Not that my daughter, she good. Y'all do that for me, I'll be forever grateful. And that'll be the first step that we all make change. Because I don't think y'all ready for the real truth of what this animal is. And I don't think nobody will rock his name when they really reveal it all to you. And that's what I will say. And understand that you never heard me speak any language. I didn't even want to see the dude go all the way for an L. But anybody at this point that can't see the understanding and get on a platform to speak about a kid that need to stick with a man, grown ass man, it's a problem. And I just want that to be known. So I'm going to get on my plane and you never heard me say it publicly because of my daughter and I respected the shit I had to respect but you hear from me now fuck R. Kelly that's fact and that motherfucker will deal get dealt with with everything he got coming to him and that ain't by me that's by law that gig up so when it all come out make sure I'm flooded with them apologies I'm out
Peace. Thank y'all. You got your which one? Yeah. I lost mine.